You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Deputy Commander of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and the Commander of the Royal Cambodian Army, Lieutenant General Hunmanite, has said that the moral foundation of humanity must be in education from young to old, and this base is necessary for maintaining stability, security, and social harmony. Speaking during the inauguration ceremony of the Buddhist Secondary School of Samdek Preya Tomaliket Lohlai Sonsam Kosal in the area of Wat Sonsam Kosal in Phnom Penh on Monday, Lieutenant General Hunmanite said that in order to achieve this moral foundation, there must be three main players in training human resources in Cambodia, including teachers who provide knowledge in schools, parents, grandparents, and other relatives who continue to educate and teach at home, and the environment and surrounding society, which must be conducive to the absorption of knowledge and experience. He said that the Prime Minister has the goal and ambition to make Cambodia a high middle income country by 2030 and a high income country by 2050. To this end, the Prime Minister has made every effort to attract both domestic and foreign investment to increase economic progress and more importantly, to protect the lives of the people from being affected by war, division and deaths due to COVID-19 because these factors may have a long-term impact on the development of the nation. He added that the government's five approaches, reflection, bathing, scrubbing, treatment, and surgery, will continue and are not accidental, as they are the vision of the Cambodian People's Party, which is constantly self-assessing its shortcomings based on leadership and policy formulation, which is a factor that has received overwhelming support from people across the country. He continued that in this regard, the party has always strived to correct shortcomings, fortify its strengths in a timely manner, and to the best of its ability, gain further support and continue to be successful for the upcoming 2023 elections to provide more opportunities for the Prime Minister to continue to lead with national interests at the heart and to continue to serve the people toward continual happiness and swift development.